Hello there YouTube and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and we've got a vlog, albeit a few days late. Um, this weekend just gone, I was at a, uh, a bike rally, a bunch of uh, a bunch of pals in a uh, in a shadow owners group called the Shadow Crew. It's a forum, go and check it out on shadowcrew.co.uk if you ride a shadow. Um, we had a rally. We normally have an end of season rally. Um, just a small group of people just getting together and having a few beers and uh, ride outs and all that sort of good stuff and having a giggle. And that is exactly what we did. Uh, obviously, it did uh, it did kind of take quite the toll on my health. Um, and uh, yeah, so whereas yesterday I was hoping to be able to get a, a vlog out to you guys, unfortunately, I wasn't able to. So um, if you see me sweating profusely, it's only because things are hurting. So don't worry about that. Um, now then, I'm going to try and add all of the bike stuff towards the end because I imagine there's a lot more people that don't ride than do. So I'm going to put a load of sort of bits and bobs and things from the from the event um, at the end of the uh, at the end of this video. I'll probably. Try Try and put a timestamp down below so you can so you can just go onto it if you if you get really excited and want to see that. I didn't take as much footage as I'd like to have done, uh, but nonetheless I did take some and had a little bit of a fuck around and uh, and away you go. So. Um, hopefully that will uh, that will suffice you bikers out there like i said it's just a small kind of real cozy little rally um that was over four days and so it was uh, it was quite tiring but luckily the weather was good um and uh, and yeah so camping overnight wasn't wasn't too horrific uh, but yes hope and i managed to get to ride which was brilliant because i haven't managed to ride for a little while so uh, that was pretty awesome and riding with a bunch of my pals from around the country as well which is awesome so anyway let's Let's go on to vape stuff, shall we? Um, I have no idea. I'm not prepared in the slightest for this one. Not a clue. Uh, but uh, we'll make up as we go along and we'll see what happens. Now then, I didn't get as many videos as I wanted to last week, partially because um, with the rally kicking in on Thursday, it meant that I only had sort of Monday to Wednesday, really. However, I did push out the sleeper RDA um, on Thursday morning before I left. Prior to that, there was the No Pity S, um, which uh, which has a kind of a mixed response. A bunch of people have said it does look like a nice RDA, and a bunch of people have said, as I said on the video, it's too expensive, I'm not going to get that. And that's absolutely fine, absolutely fine. If, it, if, you, if that's not the sort of thing that you're looking for, don't buy it. You know, <laughs> the same reason you get expensive cars or expensive cookware or, I don't know, expensive anything. Yes, you can get cheaper, but if it's in your ballpark, then it's in your ballpark and it's a nice bit of kit. I did have a, uh, I did have someone on, um, on Twitter say that they were unsubscribing because I'm getting too high end now. <laughs> Not entirely sure how they figure that one out, but there you go. Um, I still maintain that whilst this channel is never going to be a high end channel, it's never going to be about high end mods. Uh, throwing a little one in here, here and there, um, I think it's nice. It's nice to see, how, for me, it's nice to see how the other half live, but it's also nice to be able to kind of just have something. If it's something for me personally, it's in my collection. If it's for me, I like having myself have a little, you know, posh treat now and then. Um, and whilst I love all the affordable stuff, you know, something different, isn't it? So something nice, especially when it comes to mods, if it's made by someone that... Um, I have a, a good relationship with or who's a friend or it's someone who I just think has a brilliant approach to what they do um, I, You know, I think that's 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 all gravy. It's never gonna be never gonna be a high-end channel But uh, but there we go. Anyway moving on shall we? Um, prior to that was a vlog that was on the 19th. What's the date today? 27th. So, yeah. um, one video shy last week. I do apologize. I'm very, very sorry. Um, but I was a poorly bunny. Now then, um, can't really remember what I covered in the last vlog. Can't really remember, but I've got a whole bunch of new stuff in. So let's kick over that. Oh no, before I, I, uh, I know I mentioned the, uh, the, the Sifu B tab. Um, I've actually been using this um quite a lot this is from Ud. if you didn't see it on the last one and i have been using this to do a bunch of the builds on of, of late now what it is it's a it's a kind of a normal mod with the 510 at the top there and the buttons and where you go and stuff big 
thing on the back there and thing on the front there. But you've also got the 510 on the front there and you take off this back pad, turn it round, stick it back on and this section is now, it's not sticky but it's kind of rubbery. So it's um, it, it stays where you put it on your desk. So you can use this then as a build station. Now um, I do need to do more testing on this one without a doubt because it has seemed that the ohm reading has been a little bit kind of wishy-washy but um, I need to do way more testing before I can make any decisions on this one. It's certainly been handy. It's nice to have it kind of nice and small. Um, obviously the what I normally use would either be the uh, coil master so it's a, it's a lot kind of smaller than that or I use my uh, my little puck from uh, from standout stands with my little vaping biker logo on it there we go look at that um so yeah standout stands go and check them out on facebook they're great uh they also did my can you see my 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 tiered thing they did that my, all my acting stands bless them anyway um Yes, this little bad boy, it seems like it does a pretty reasonable job, but like I said, I do need to do just a little bit more testing when it comes to the accuracy of the ohm reader on it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that one is ongoing. One of the things that I wanted to test last week was the, uh, the Tesla 3. Um, as well as the Tesla Stealth 40 Watt, because I still think the Stealth 40 Watt is a cracking little, little tiny dinky Stealth mod. Um, but one of the reasons I uh, I didn't test this one or didn't do the review for this one is because I thought I'd take it with uh, with the sleeper on top to the rally, and so I use this on and off for the four days, and I've still got a whole bunch of battery life left in there, uh, which I think has been great. The coil that I built on this sleeper is I think it's somewhere around around about kind of 0.25 something like that and it's still putting out brilliantly I still think the button is a bit strange purely because um, it it takes a bit of a press if that makes sense it's it's, it's like it's sprung in there and it is quite a quite a, a strong a strong spring um, so that has been something which you know it takes a bit of getting used to you you I don't know, clicky. I'm used to clicky buttons now. Having said that, it's not unpleasant, not by any stretch of the imagination. It's quite a small-ish mod for 5,000 milliamp hour battery going on in there. Uh, you can charge things from. I've still not got around to recharging my phone to see if the uh, the issue I had last time reoccurs. Um, but uh, but no, all in all, this is this was a little lifesaver on the rally. It was small enough to pop inside the leather jacket if needs be. Um, and uh, and not create any grief there's a little bit of weight to it so be aware of that one but uh, but yeah it's performed every time and I'm not entirely sure how much they are I'll look at it when I do the review but if you've been holding out I know a couple of people have asked me about them because you have been holding out um, I think these are little crackers obviously it's non regulated but uh, you know I've, I've been more than happy with the use of this especially as a kind of a backup mod you know or something to have with you um, well yeah it's a backup but uh, that's that's a little cracker in that respect so there is a that now what else did I what did I well, yeah, hmm. What else did I talk about in the last? Oh, I talked about in the last, uh, the last blah, 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 ooh, vlog, <laughs> and I think the one before about this little uh, little eye taste easy TC. I see the reviews are starting to come out on these little bad boys now. I still think these are absolutely brilliant, and if you know anyone that is thinking about starting vaping and you're looking for a device, then I mean I've previously said something like the Inakin T18. But, uh, but this is uh, is a little beauty in my opinion. This does have a slightly tighter draw. So uh, yeah, I would go for, if you, if, you, if yeah. Yeah, it's di more difficult to get the the uh, the mouth to lung draw from this than you get from the T18, but all the T22. But, uh, but yeah, this just for its foolproof um, aspect, I think is, uh, is the tits. Um, I have also been using last week the uh, smart box from Inakin as well, still with this particularly daft drip tip on it, just because it looks daft, but I really like it. Very nice too. This has been my little minty vape. In here I've had the, uh, what have I had in here? What have I had in here? Oh yeah, here we go. From the Nobacconists in the UK, I've had this cool current. Is that gonna, is that gonna, there we go, some of that action going on there so a little bit of a minty black currently kind of vibe um, 
and it's nice it's nice and refreshing it's a nice little vape in there so i am rather enjoying that still but uh but yes yeah, so the tesla stuff does need to be done the inakin stuff does need to be done and i'm sure i have a bucket load of other stuff i've still got to do the review of all of the watofo gear um but i am still loving the freak show can't remember what i put it on but i know that came with me oh here we go um that came with me um on the uh on the therian um to the rally that's not the way up it goes Idiot. there we go um that came with me to the rally and i have been blowing my face off with that one loads of clouds you can tell you can't tell because you can't see but the clouds are <laughs> the coils are royally necked in there now um so i need to get that but the freak show still um to me it kind of if you've been vaping for a while and you remember when the troll came out the troll was like ah, flipping egg, this is awesome um and if you similar sort of vaping style to to me anyway um and to me the freak show has been the next biggest big rda from those guys you know what i mean it's been it's been something that i wasn't overly keen on the original freak show but this one i think has been absolutely the tits both for flavor and for cloud so i think it's been absolutely superb so that is still going to get a review on its own because i think it's ace cheers to you no diet coke today run out got it anyway i think we can move on to the new stuff Ooh, toys um we've had a bunch of stuff come in i took this to the rally as well just to see how it performed this is the balrog ex from uh, those crazy guys at ud um on top of there i've had the freemax uh star pure tank the big uh, big affair with the with the uh, ceramic outer and the coil and yeah it's this is it's got the weirdest it's got the weirdest fire button in the world i don't really understand i've got to look into it so you know you can give me reasons if you want but um see this section all up here this is all kind of the fire button it doesn't mean you can press it anywhere else you still have to press it actually on the button but it just i don't really get why that's a thing um it has seemed to not fire as it should on every single occasion which has been uh, which has been a bit of a thing And also, it does have a very small kind of ramp up time. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Flames are right. This tank is still very, very good. Um, I can definitely see why everybody is um, kind of lauding it big time because it is very, very good. Personally, the airflow does feel empty. To me does that make sense like i don't know whether that's just the chamber is so massive because if you open this up all the way it's huge still a bit empty with a very slight restriction now that's going to make a lot of no sense to anybody but now i get they've done that so you can really put a lot of power through it i imagine but hmm yeah it's still the flavor is pretty good the flavor is still pretty good as it's a tank um or seeing as it's a tank uh it looks really chunky it's still got a very very annoying kind of plinth instead of the uh, instead of the drip tip you've still got that plinth there which is non removable which is a bit of a sucker because if you've got your own tips that you like to use on there they they unless they're exactly the right size they're going to look a bit wank to be honest with you But, uh, but yeah, there you go. There's a cheeky little 44 watts in there. Battery life on the Balrog EX has been entirely reasonable. And as you'd expect, um, I use this quite a lot over the weekend as well. Um, just because it had a tank on it, which made it easier after a beverage or two. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so there we go. Much more testing needs to be done with this Balrog. Uh, this, this red colour they've sent me is really not my speed at all. It's not my thing. But uh, but there you go. The screen's quite small, seeing as it's a 26650 mod. It's kind of, um, yeah, it's a little bit kind of old school, really, when it comes to uh, what the screen looks like. But it does a whole bunch of things, and I will be checking it out as time goes on. And I'll let you know more about that. If not, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to review it this week. But um, yeah, I'll let you know how I'm getting on in the next vlog. Cheers. Now then, new stuff, other new stuff. 
we have had we have had oh i got this in now it's a little rda which has been kind of all over instagram with a lot of builders as well um this is the reload which is this little puppy um now one of the th i'll show you something about the deck if you can see it when i when i uh, when i take it apart in a second but one of the things i don't really get about this is it's it's kind of a classy looking rda ish um bottom airflow um but this knurling on the top here is actually sort of quite sharp and so if your lips go a little bit down on this drip tip it's it that, that doesn't feel nice that doesn't feel nice at all but uh but no otherwise it's uh it's a thing let me uh, let me see if i've got too much cotton to show you the uh, the deck the deck is very reminiscent of the No Pity. You can't see the air holes, I'm afraid, because you can't. I've got coils in there because I'm testing it. Um, but it works in a very similar way. Go and check out the No Pity review for that kind of style. Um, it has two small kind of Kennedy-esque um, um, air hook posts. Someone wasn't paying attention to how long the camera had been going. <laughs> so what was I saying? It has two Kennedy-esque kind of um, air posts that go up underneath the coils, um, two on each side. So you've got four of those in total. So it does have a reasonable amount of air, but there is still a restriction there. Wide open, let's have a little look. There is still, there is still a slight restriction there, but uh, but you know it's fairly fairly um, smooth, which I think is a good thing. Let me just take this to sixty six point six. They are twenty six gauge coils I've put in here, but uh, but yeah, I'm feeding my lips on the end of this kind of knurled bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is, I don't like. I don't like that, to be honest with you. I'm delicate. Um, yeah, and so that, I think, and especially along the very kind of top shoulder there, that's actually really quite sharp. You see that it just it just goes kind of... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, that, that top shoulder on that top corner is quite sharp. And so the knurl bits, especially if you've got tash, um, kind of can be a little bit nightmarish. So I'm not a massive fan of that. Gold... I don't know if it's a gold-plated build deck, but that will come into the review. Um, there's a lot of people going gold at the minute. There is a lot of people going gold, and I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there we go. So that's a thing. That's come in. Um, I'll put a few more builds on here, and we'll see how we get on. Got a bit of a tickly throat. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Now then, other things that have come in, which are quite exciting... This, by the way, came in yesterday, I think it was. Maybe the day before. What day is it today? What day? <laughs> it's Tuesday. Monday. It must have come in Monday. Um, this is the new Minikin version 2 from Asmodus. Yep, yeah, Minikin 2. This is the little touchscreen affair, which is awesome, by the way. Um, this, I've been, I used this most of yesterday. Battery life is still pretty much full. Um, the battery life, I think, is going to be the tits on this. I really think it is. Um, if you have been watching the channel for a while, you may remember that kind of the Helve, I think it was, which is like a grip, like a gun grip sort of thing. And it's kind of, it was ugly, but it, it worked really, really well. Um, and the way they use power on the board on this is very, very, very good. It's very economical with your battery life, which I think is brilliant. So, I mean, in here at the moment, I think, have I got 30 Qs in here at the moment? Yeah, I've got a pair of 30 Qs in here at the moment. And um, it's just a treat. And the, I've had no problems with the touchscreen. I know a few people have said that that has been a bit of an issue, but uh, but no, if I, um, if I wanna change something, it says to, uh, you have to slide your finger down. So you slide your finger. Oh, see on camera. <laughs> there we go. Plus and minus to change your wattage and do what you like. And then you fire it and you're back to normal again. But it's a dinky little, it's weird because it's the shape of it. It's kind of, it's kind of that. What what can I relate it to? What can I relate it to? triady ish kind of, kind of. With a with a kind of a blunt end going on, but it's um, 
it's strange because it is it's quite small and so you don't know whether how you should hold it to, to to fire it i've been finger firing it and found that's been the most comfortable um purely because to to thumb fire it with it's with it being small i've been using the kind of the heel is that the heel of your thumb or the joint of your thumb to uh to fire it with and not had any problems at all but it's been like i say it's been just a constant performer And it's a treat. I really like it. Now then, on top of here is the Triad Genesis, also from Asmodus. Now this is kind of another one of those, um, another one of those jobbies where the uh, the wicks go down into the tank. But this is made for three coils. Although you can put two in here as well if you so wish. You've got that option on the airflow. Um, now. Vertical coils, I think, are going to work best on here uh, rather than horizontals. But I am going to do a lot more testing before I uh, before I kind of say that's absolute. But I'm pretty sure that's kind of the way it's designed because um, you've got one hole in each sort of each piece, if you like, um, to uh, to get your wick in. So that makes sense that it's all for vertical. I've not had any issues with dry hits at 55, 0.5 watts, uh, and I've had it open halfway on each of the three air holes, just because that gives me the restriction that I've been enjoying. Um, Flavour is not bad at all, um, and performance seems to be going well. But like I say, I've only had these for 24 hours, so there is going to be lots more to do with this. But I think this, <coughs> excuse me, I do think this mod is going to get used in a lot of the testing just because the battery life seems to be awesome. Which is fab. Right, now then. Also from Asmodus, we had the this isn't very shiny at all. Where's my where's my where's my cloth? Let me try and make it a little bit shinier for you. Um I said about gold. Everyone's doing gold, and they are doing gold. They are doing gold. Um and we've got this, which is the triad um from Asmodus, which is the 24 mil um RDA. Once again, a similar kind of build deck to this one with regards to the sort of the three options. Oh, something that I thought was interesting with this that I forgot to mention was this screw up the top here is actually the fill screw. So you undo that, squirt, squirt through the middle and there's holes in there in the bottom of the post which then pff, you juice into your tank which I thought was quite interesting. But it does mean that you get a bit of juice on your fingers when you're doing it. But that's no, no real biggie I don't think. Um, the deck on this is the same but bigger. Um, however, the problem that I've got with this, and I have emailed as Modus and I've not had a reply as yet, is that the O-rings are the hardest O-rings on the planet. Quite just ridiculous. Um, and just will not come off. They're just a, an absolute nightmare. Um, now I took out, there's two O-rings in the base. I took both of them out and they were mashed when I got it. Just by taking the thing apart, they were mashed. Um, and took them out all together. I thought I'll just check, and it had a reasonably snug fit without the O rings. Um, but I replaced the O rings with the the spares that they give you. Uh, well, I actually, just put one in, and it's rocking just one at the moment, and is still tighter than a tight thing on a cold day. It's it's ridiculous. It really is. As is the airflow control up the top. That is also incredibly tight, and that's just a single O ring up there. Now I. I think, I think uh, Mr. Todd said that his came with a second drip tip. Mine only came with this one. Uh, however, they are they, they did turn up, not in boxes, but in these little bags. So I don't know if they're meant to have a box or not, but, uh, but mine didn't have one. So, yeah, I mean, as far as the vape quality goes, it's not too bad. reasonably airy um i don't think it's a massive flavor atomizer to be fair i think this is kind of more cloudy than anything else but once again these are the first builds that i've put in here what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put some claptons in and see if that helps kind of push the flavor up a little bit um yeah it's i don't really know why there needed to be three vertical coils in an rda to be honest but uh, but there are and so that's a thing <laughs> Thank you. 
and like I say there is air for days and that is with my air pretty much kind of where well, it's over halfway closed off can you see there um, there's kind of one and a bit of those uh, of those clover leaves kind of open going on so uh, yeah I, I am only rocking that at 50 watts because this came through today as well this is the little Watofo serpent uh, mod serpent box I think they call it a serpent box they call it a serpent box yeah serpent box 50 watt uh, from Watofo little tiny screen kicking over on the top there which isn't going to focus there we go but nice and bright screen everyone's a winner doesn't automatically flip over unfortunately but that's a thing oh hey hey look it's been ages since i forgot to turn my phone off done right that's on silent so yeah so this little little button is tiny it's dinky it really it it is it's small let's have a look next to the tesla 40 watt side by side um this does have a 2000 milliamp hour battery in it um so i'm pretty confident it's not going to be well it's not it's only a 50 watt box so it's not going to be designed for you kind of hardcore cloudies but um but no it's uh i've been been rocking it this morning and had a little play with it just to see it's really light really light um it feels like i'm going to break it it feels like i'm going to break it without a doubt but uh, but yeah, so far and because that's a 24 mil tank on there, obviously it's going to be designed for one of their larger tanks, which I will stick on here after this. I just wanted something to put the uh, the triad on. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, so it's, it's gonna it's a little mod that will hold large tanks, which I think is a good thing. So 2,000 milliamp hour, it's going to give you a reasonable amount of battery life as long as you don't go crazy on your coil builds. Um, this is rocking in at 0.22 at the moment and seems to be performing adequately well. And so, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the uh, that's that, which I think is good. Now, I don't think I have got anything else to uh, to tell you about. I wanted to give a big shout out to Vivdi Vapes in the UK for sending me some more um, donut MFN donut, the Boston cream, because uh, that was they sent me some of that last week because I said it was lovely in the last one. I was going to buy some, but thank you very very much for sending some on because I think it's glorious. Um, I have been vaping mainly over the weekend. Here's a thing. Over the weekend, I told you I was using the Freak Show on the um, on the Therian mod. I was also using the Tesla with the sleeper on it. Um, I, d I had to take a mech, so I did buy myself. Did I show you this on the last one? I can't remember. But I bought myself the uh, Twisted Messes 24 because when the when the when the Rogue is all polished up there, that looks the tits on it. And this has been a really nicely performing RDA, to be honest with you. I have really been enjoying that. Uh, good, for, great for flavour, great for clouds. It's just a big chunk. 24 mil um, and one of the things that I like about it the posts they kind of come up and then over with a gap underneath so there is plenty of space under there I mean you can see how much I've used it with how gunky those coils are but uh, but yeah um, nice and easy to build on and it's been it's been an absolute treat to be honest with you it really has those o-rings are getting a bit snug I may need to lube them up again give them a bit of lube so I pop a battery in and have a vape so I do that can't figure. I can't remember if these are mankiest tits or not, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Oh no! I dented my uh, I dented the drip tip. No. <laughs> the uh, what have I what have I doing it? The LG HD two Cs. I've been working still brilliantly on uh, on all the mechs, um, which I've been enjoying very very much. Right, there we go. That, that performs like a monster and it's still got Boston cream in it. <laughs> so yes, very, very much love for this setup at the moment. I think it's very matchy-matchy when this is polished and looks quite sweet and sexy. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that very, very much. Is there anything else? No, I did break the glass on my uh, on my uh, um, Nautilus X. That was a bit, that was a bit, upsetting but uh but yeah that happened um i don't think i broke anything else which is good cons <laughs> considering so yeah so i took the the bullrog ex the uh the the mech 
the Therian and the uh, Tesla 3. All four of them performed excellently. I vaped my face off, as you can imagine, and they all did a grand job, which I think is brilliant. So I'm more than happy with all of those. Um, I think that is all of the vape mail and what I used at the rally. Um, pretty much. I did get to have a play with the drone, so there'll be a couple of drone shots in the uh, in the in the thing in the bit that comes after me waffling on. Uh, do you need me to explain stuff? I might do a little bit of explanation when I'm doing the uh, the other bit. Oh, we'll see, or I might just put a bunch of music under it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how we get on. Um, I did have the GoPro strapped to my hand with my little glove thing going on. So I took a bunch of that wind riding. I'm not gonna bore you with all the rides and all that sort of stuff. You don't need to see all of that. But uh, but yeah, I will show you a little bit of that because I think it's cool, but it might be a little bit wobbly. Um, oh, also coming today is the Altia. Now, J-Well, I've looked at a few J-Well products before, hang on. 1447, 48, 49. Let's turn the camera off and we can start it again. There we go. That is me checking off the, for <laughs> matching the noise up. Absolutely the way forward. Right. Yes, so this is the Altia from Joel. If you'd uh, if you'd seen previous reviews, you've known that I've looked at a few uh, products from Joel. Some of them, one of them was the Supra. RDA uh, Supra mod. Another one was the uh, what was the name of that RDA? What was the name? The Odeon, the Odeon and the Onyx, the Odeon RDA and the Onyx mod. Um, now, oh, I don't. I think they just they just emailed me and said they were sending this on because I think if, as it's a tank, I may have said no, but I can't remember. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna have. I haven't even juiced it up or anything else as yet. Uh, this is allegedly good for 90 watts, as, as so they say. Um, impeccable packaging from these guys, as you would expect. Um, like I say, I've got no uh, no real info for you at the moment. They've got their own coil in there, which they only give you one of, and that's in the tank, which is a bit of a shame because I imagine they're going to be a bit of a shit to get hold of. Um, and they also do give you an RDA, uh, an RTA section as well. Let's have a little look at the deck on this bad boy, shall we? How do you get that off? Oh, it's an unscrew. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's a fairly kind of standard little deck that you get with this, this little puppy. Um, pretty tiny, velocity style posts going on there. Um, not very large holes going on. Eh, we might give that a try and we'll see what it's all about. I will report back at another point about that one. But j -Well, I like j -Well stuff because it does tend to be really, really well made. Um, and it tends to work really, really well. Uh, so I do want to, I do want to give that a little bit of a, little bit of a toot. And it does come with a couple of Claptons in there as well. Bless them. Right. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Ah, oh, one of the things that I wanted to mention, I was talking, I've talked it in a vlog before about this Aramie tank, um, which is from uh, from Aramie, which is, uh, it's the Gill tank. And this little puppy is around about 15 quid. And I still think this works really, really well for the money. I, I did find that you can't really push it with power, uh, even though it's kind of quite a, a, an open airflow. It does tend to knacker up the coil a little bit if you push it a little bit too hard. So, you know, it's not a big monster cloud machine, but for 15 quid as a backup tank that I think looks pretty sweet. This, this is a Trinity glass tank, uh, Kopi tip, I think it is, Copa, I can't remember. Um, but it's, so it's my own tip on there, but the actual, Excuse me, You're getting all kinds of body noises from me today. Um, but I think it looks really quite sexy. I think it. I think as far as tanks go, I think that looks quite sweet. So like I say, I did buy that one for my own use just because it's 15 quid and I'm very, very cheap. So I uh, thought it would be worth a go. Uh, it should get its own review, but as always, Got so much in the review gear that I need to push through. So I'm going to do my level best, as I say, pretty much every vlog to uh, to get a video out uh, every day for the rest of the week. And 
<laughs> it's a kiss of death when I say that, it really is. But I am going to try ever so hard because I've got a lot to catch up on. Cheers. Now then, is there anything else? I'm doing this reasonably quick. Oh, I think we should be just over the half an hour mark at the moment. I don't think there is much else that I can show you, crazy cat. Um, um, oh, if any of you have the uh, that awful, awful 26x50 mod from iJoy, uh, the, what was it called, the Lux or the XO, depending on when you bought it, um, you may have seen that these these batteries came with it and you may have seen mooches battery mooches uh, take on these in, in as much as they're actually really bloody good batteries so if you do have the mod then brilliant well done if you like it then a lot of people kind of gave me grief saying well you don't know what you're on about it's brilliant mod I love mine if you like it you like it great well done you um, I think it's horseshit but um, if you've got those batteries they're really good batteries so there we go that's that's not wasted money so that's good uh, I don't think there's anything else to tell you I think we're done I think we're done this here by the way sorry that you're seeing this I probably should push it out of the way but it's on carpet and a pain in the ass um, I've just kind of redone reorganized my shit just to try and be a little bit more because I'm not very space friendly <laughs> I don't, not not the you shocker I know, but I'm not the most organised person in the world. So I got one of these little things. This is an IKEA thing. The doors open there because the dog's in there. So I've got juice down here, the juice that I'm drinking and using. Um, in here we've got all my rebuildables. Up here we've just got random stuff and a big thing of kitchen roll and my hats because I'm hip. And uh, down below I've got stuff that's going to be in the uh, in the raffles that I keep talking about and haven't had time to do as yet. Is the camera straight now? Now I've royally fucked up. Is that straight? That'll do for a minute. <laughs> um, right. Let me know if you've got any. Right. Okay. Oh, hang on. My uh, my brightness may have been going funky because I didn't turn that on. Right. Um, bags bags under my eyes again let me know if you've come across any interesting and different juices because the movement donut um was is brilliant i love this because it's so so different um as is the i quite i'm enjoying this uh, carolina clouds as well that's uh, that's kind of over halfway now because that's uh, that's been used in a bunch of different things um so yeah really really like those because they're different if you've come across any juices that have max vg three milligram and different not just your normal strawberry milkshake or mango fucking whatever you know something that is that made you go whoa whoa not tasted anything like that before it's awesome let me know in the comments because i'm always interested to hear something um something maybe light and fruity ish maybe i don't know some just i don't know something a bit bazooj pow zwing that kind of thing do you know do you know what i mean i can't explain what i'm into but just something different because there's a lot of flavors that are very very samey these days and that's uh, that's really annoying also some interesting orange ones now i have made did i tell you last time i can't remember i did uh, take a uh, take a blast at um making my juices a little while ago as i told you and told you that they were all a bit throaty and a little bit angry on the old bat on the angry on the old uh, the old neck um so one of the things that i did do was i then made a bunch of them uh with no nicotine in them at all so it was just vg and the flavoring because i made a different one this one's pear right? this is a flavor art pear that i went in hard at seven percent with and it's actually really really nice um, the grape one I've not actually tried yet. Um, this mobster's mole, which is something. This all came, by the way, from eliquidconcentrates.co.uk. Let me just let me just check on that one because I don't want to give you wrong information. Eliquid concentrates. No, hang hang you on. I went to .com then. It's not .com. Not .com. Not .com. Dean. .uk on account of being in England. No, it's not. No, that's not it either. Oh, bollocks! What is it? <laughs> hang you on <laughs> Ashley I'm very very sorry my friend um, 
I am going to sort this out because it's worth knowing about. Because he, what I'm about to tell you is something cool that he does, and I haven't seen other people do it. I'm sure other people do do it, but I haven't seen other people actually doing it. Um, right, hold you on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I uh, eLiquidFlavorConcentrates.co.uk. That's it. You spanner. E-liquid flavor concentrates, all one word. .co.uk. They do they do the concentrates for like um, uh, Mr. Todd loves his uh, loves his um, what's that what's that duck stuff? Oh, what is it? What is it? Is here look? Is here? Where is it? Goose juice. They do the concentrates for goose juice and a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, go and check those guys out because um, I narrowed it down to being the to being the the, the issue with the with the with the with the nicotine there we go thank you whoever helped me out then um now one of the things that i like about these guys is they're, they're doing this flavor art stuff which are we going to focus are we going to focus are we going to focus no yes here we go um which is basically it's a nicotine mix it's a nicotine and i think it's vg uh, pg in here i don't know i don't know and I'll look at it for when I do the actual mixing video. Um, but what this means is that you can basically, this is like 18 milligram, I think. So um, you can basically just dump this in to a whole bunch of VG and flavoring. And then what? Up, there you go. Mixed. Ready to go. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. I've got two of these. So I'm going to use one for a test to make sure that I can still mix stuff. And, and this tastes better than the last Nick that I had. Um, and the other one I will use in the video. But it's just nice. It's a nice and easy thing to do. And I, I've got a feeling it's also going to help with TPD requirements. I'm not entirely sure. Ashley did go into a great detail amount of telling me early on and I've retained none of that information whatsoever. I'm sorry. So yeah, go ahead, cross to those guys. Go and check that out because it's cool. Um, but this mobsters mold that they do, uh, which I have put the oh, here we go. This little flavouring here is nice. I'm not going to tell you what the flavour profile is because I will get it wrong. But it's nice. I like it. It's very 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 nice. Um, but yes, so. The mixing thing, as with a lot of the videos I tell you about, are still is still going to go on, as is the coiling, as is a whole bunch of other things. But just time. I need more hours in the day or a quicker computer. One of the two. Either way, I can't afford either. So, I've got to make the best of it with what I've got. Um, I think now we are done with all of the vapey, vapey stuff. What have I been looking at on, uh, on the tubes of you? Uh, did I say thank you to everyone for the 20,000 subscribers last time? I think I did. If not, thank you very much. You're all wonderful people. Much appreciated. Still don't get it. Still don't get where you watch me, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, right, so Grim Green is on his European adventure. Oh, I so wanted to go to fucking Paris. I really, really did. But uh, but yeah, thanks to not being able to get my money back on the, uh, on the, the, the island trip, I couldn't. Uh, um, Casey Neistat's done a whole bunch recently. Um, Rip Trippers with with their uh, with his um, right to vape uh, money raiser has gone over the two hundred thousand dollars now, which is crazy. A whole bunch of people have contributed to that. So, particular if you're particularly if you're in the states, then uh, make sure you go and throw some money across over there. Uh, I think that's good. that's very very important and great work from uh, from Rip there. I think that's brilliant. Um, what else? What else? Vaping Vix done his Rotofo Freak Show V two. Uh, I don't think he was quite as enamoured about it as I am. I don't really don't I don't think he was. Uh, I'm right and he's wrong. Obviously, you know. Um, right, changing the camera. That was handy on that camera change there. The wife called me, so you know that was all right. Anyway, what I was to what was I talking about? I was talking about what I've been watching on YouTube. Let's just have a little look at history, and uh, so I can just go through a couple of things. Someone was saying it would be good to see um, what would what had happened, what other stuff outside of vaping I speak to. Uh, I speak to. I can't. Oh, <laughs> I look at or watch. Um, to be honest, most of what I watch on YouTube is either directly related to um, how something works, so for like drone stuff or camera stuff or that kind of vibe, um, 
or um, or, or vapey things. But uh, Casey Neistat is a big one for me. I do watch a lot of his stuff because he's a master of editing and storytelling. I think I think his videos are very very good for that. Um, Grace Helbig, just because she's nutso um, and uh, and very very good. I did what because there was a, a, a no American viewers. This is where you probably I don't know. Um, I understand there was a debate going on between between Hillary and old Donald last night, and I thought I really should probably know about it just because America's got a lot of nuclear weapons. I don't know, um, and so I did try and watch a couple of the the sort of snippets from the from the debate on YouTube, and oh my God, oh, I'm sorry, America. <laughs> anyway let's leave it there shall we it's not looking good anyway um what else have we got what else have we got more casey going on there um someone asked me i can't remember your name i'm terribly sorry but someone asked me to look at their at one of their videos they've got a channel on youtube called northern fog and they're, they're trying i think he's trying to do a kind of a um like a more of a chat show kind of feel to it going on which is a is a definitely a worthwhile concept i think um i think a little bit bit more polishing and those guys could have a, a decent little show um what else the hacksmith go in and watch some of him uh vape capital did a video called i quit recently with a with a chap following a chap's kind of progress through going from smoking a fuck ton of cigarettes through to uh, smoking or vaping sorry uh, that was quite interesting. What else? What else? See, there's there's a whole bunch of videos going on there that are, are vape related, vape related, vape related. The vape. Oh, there's a there's a there's a video coming out called the Governor. Oh, I tell you, it's for, it's uh, Lenny McLean's life story. He's hard, hard, hard as proper. Um, yeah, so that that's going to be awesome. Um, Jimmy Kimmel, been watching a bit of him recently randomly. Terry Crews and Lucy Liu's hidden talents on the Late Late Show with James Gordon. I watch all manner of crap when I'm not looking at vape related stuff. And honestly, when I've been feeling a bit poorly, I will kind of just kick back and just watch whatever's trending. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff to uh, to 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 get involved with. <sighs> YouTube's a new thing. Apparently, more kids watch YouTube, or more youngsters watch YouTube now than watch TV. So, um, if that's the kind of the way things are going, and I don't know about you, but if I want to if I want to know how something works, I look on YouTube before I Google something or anything else these days, just because it's nicer to be able to see someone talking about something rather than reading it, because then you kind of get more involved. Or well, that's that's how I do anyway, because I'm a little bit like that. Um, I don't think there's anything else on those to really really tell you about really is there no i get you 69 had a competition recently for a mage 24 it was a winner that was good dslr video shooter he's a bit good oh, he's a bit good if you like your photography go and check him out he's very very good um but other than that other than that vaping with thesis <laughs> Ah, if you haven't watched Vaping with Thesis, go and watch him. He's he's crazy mental good. He's he's just he's bonkers, but he's brilliant. I love it. He, every one of his videos makes me laugh. Um, talk about making me laugh. Bat Dad. Oh, he's a cheeky monkey. He's been rather than doing his kind of like three or five minute uh, videos, he's been doing like 15, 20 second videos, which just means that his his uh, subscriber count and view count is going to be going mental. I don't know if he does uh, if he monetizes, but uh, but if he does, then he's a cheeky monkey. But you know, fair play, good on you. Um, right, I think I've bored you enough with all of that stuff, to be honest with you, because I think I'm just sitting and talking. I forget that you're there sometimes. <laughs> all that being said, what I'm going to do now is I am going to do some bike stuff. So this is the dim creeper rally that we've had uh, in good old norfolk uk uh, this past weekend four day rally we did have a previous rally that i was running uh, but a good friend of mine or of a good couple minty and kelly have taken over um to do uh, to do the dim creeper which i am more than happy with so yeah we had a brilliant time basically there was we turned up on the thursday nice and chilled out just got to hang out with a few people and have a laugh uh, the uh, the friday was a bit of a ride out to uh, to 
a great place called Brick Chopper, which is a local custom shop. And I've, oh, I forgot I turned that video. That's on the phone. I'll transfer that into this as well. And um, and then mucho alcohol on Friday night. And then Saturday was the big ride out. I think that's probably about 25, 30 bikes on the on the on the ride out. Maybe more. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Um, so I I did not take pictures of all the bikes, unfortunately, but lots of chums did. So I've basically ripped all their pictures off Facebook and I've included them because I'm a bit like that. So um, I've included those and I've got a bunch of, of my footage as well. So hopefully it'll be entertaining. They'll I'll talk over bits that require talking about where I'll put I'll probably just put music and then and then uh, and then I'll uh, um, just put some text over the top of it, something like that. If I was not a lazy bugger, I would I would play the music myself, but I am, so I'm not, I'm afraid. So it's not me playing whatever music I'm going to choose. Um, as I said, if you are a shadow rider riding a VT750 or VT1100 or even a VT125, crack yourself over, especially if you're in the UK, to uh, shadowcrew.co.uk because it's a cracking little forum and it's starting off ever so well. In the meantime, I've got to try and figure out a way that I can make myself a suicide shifter on my bike because my, my left leg's still a bit knackered. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that or a twist shifter, but unfortunately I can't get in my workshop because it's full of boxes because I'm still too broken to unbox it all. Catch 22. Um, <laughs> so there you go. If you're a custom bike builder and you wanna make me a thing, then let me know. <laughs> right, otherwise, Stop looking around, Dean. Nothing's going to suddenly appear in the last five minutes. Yes, it does. I've been using this. This is from the Yorkshire Vapor, I think. This fuzz cotton, which has been actually going rather nicely. That was full when I got that. Um, and I've been using that quite a lot recently. That's been quite nice. Um, Dizzy didn't want to be in this one. Dizzy's asleep in the other room there. Uh, but no, there we go. That's it. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's do some bike stuff. But in the meantime, I'm going to sign out and say, have it very, very large. See you on the next one tomorrow.
Yes, England Village is just down the road, you see. The river waved me.